Bonjour à tous. Aujourd'hui, on va voyager au pays de l'amour de l'après-midi, le pays de Mireille Robert, le pays de la cuisine. Ouais, vous avez deviné correctement. On va à la France pour découvrir l'histoire des crêpes Suzette. Ça arrive tout de suite. A it's facto. Crepes, if you didn't know, and honestly, who are you if you didn't know? Did you never practice your French on your school trip to Paris? Bonjour. Je voudrais uh, une crêpe avec Nutella, s'il vous plaît. Comment? Crepes are a very large part of the pancake family, and it's a pretty big family. About a thousand years ago, Mr. and Mrs. Pancake got busy on just about every continent. In addition to French crepes, we've also got the classic American pancakes, Dutch babies, palachinkan in Germany, dadagulung in Indonesia, baobing in China. Pan pancakes even crop up in Shakespeare. But today we're talking about my favorite, most luxurious, most decadent pancakes of all, crêpe Suzette. Come on. Okay, can it, freedom fries. To me, this concoction of butter, flour, eggs, milk, sugar, orange zest, and Grand Marnier is the most luxurious of, of frisky Mr. and Mrs. Pancake's offspring. But who invented them? And who was Suzette? The famous story is that celebrated French chef Henri Charpentier, who died in 1961, invented them in 1896. He even claimed as much in his 1934 memoir, Life à la Henri. Little inside tip. You ever want to make yourself sound kind of fancy pants? Just add the two French words, à ah, and la, before your name when describing something. Water à la John. Anyway, Charpentier claimed that in Monaco in 1896, he made the crepes for the Prince of Wales and named them after his date, a girl who was not his wife, Princess Alexandra of Denmark, named Suzette. Story goes, the prince liked them so much, he wanted to know what they were called. Charpentier said, Perhaps we should call them crepe princesse? To which the prince, obviously with someone not his wife, Princess Alexandra of Denmark, suggested the crepes be named after Suzette instead. Can you believe this guy? Okay, so Charpentier cooks some famous pancakes for some horny prince known for getting with everyone from Sarah Bernhardt to Camilla Parker Bull's great-grandmother. But there's a catch. Most likely, the story isn't true. Not the horny prince part. That guy was a bonobo. I'm talking about the Charpentier origin story. Most likely... That's what the French call la connerie, le, le baloney. In fact, they were first mentioned by a Scoffier in 1903, and most likely invented by a maitre d' at the Paillard restaurant in 1889, and named after an actress who played the role of a maid who served pancakes in the show. So the maitre d' probably saw her in the show and liked her and wanted to come up with this clever little joke in her honor. So it wasn't some salacious boudoir story at all. Not Mr. and Mrs. Pancake getting frisky at the Hotel de Zulazable in Paris, or Prince Edward getting frisky with Suzette, not his wife, Princess Alexandra of Denmark in Monaco. It's probably just some guy who liked some girl in a play. Anyway, here's how you make them. So uh, it's time for taste test. You want to introduce yourself? I am Henry Tufts, and I'm going to eat six crepe Suzettes. <laughs> 
This one's gonna be slightly dangerous, so, so. <laughs> there we go. All right, you ready mm -hmm. to try this for real? It's not too hot. What do you like about them? As usual, click like and subscribe. Uh, but, but also, what's a food origin story you want to know about? Post in the comments below. I want to hear about it. Let's explore together on what? What's our show called? It's a factor. Ooh, somebody's going to get another bite of crepe Suzette. Look, we both have stripes on. But who's wearing it better, Henry? Who's wearing the stripes better, you or me? Me. What?